Good morning, good afternoon, good evening family, welcome, welcome to the mental house. See how that rings now? See how it rings with me, your host, Khadija. Well, whatever the side of the diaspora that you are on, I guess you see how we are all connected. We are all connected. This pandemic has really hit home and brought home a lot of things for a lot of people. Obviously, I've been on the planet a long time. I've never seen anything like this. I have a birthday coming up next month. Um, so, in my years of being alive, I've never, ever, ever experienced anything so crazy as this COVID-19. Okay? Um, y'all can say what you want to say about the origins of this particular strand or, um, I mean, I'm not really interested in that. What I am interested in is just expressing to you how connected we really are. At some point, the universe is going to speak to us. It's going to show us. It's going to manifest itself. It's going to represent exactly the way it's supposed to. Everybody ain't ready. Everybody's not ready. You know, so my uh, hope today is that you get ready. If you have to put yourself on a self-quarantine, other than the things that you must do if you still um, work outside the home, uh, because I'm, as a nation, as a world, as a species, as you can see, we need help. We need prayer. You know, so is it up above, there is so it is below. There is a world other than this world that we see. And I do believe at some point, um, the adverse reactions on the planet with the negative vibes... It begins to um, have the same effect as fire. Where it just wipes everything out. Burns everything down. And then replenishes itself with something new. I don't know if this plague right now is that... Um, but it sure seems like it. It sure seems like it. So I want to know if, um, from y'all out there, you know, how are you doing? I wish y'all would participate. Um, I know you haven't seen me in a minute. Actually, I'm waiting on my telephone. I've had just some really weird stuff going on here um, in my personal life. Like I told y'all last time I was on. Hopefully I've gotten some of that back on track. Um, still trying to um, maintain and hopefully I'll be able to do some live streaming um, once my phone is back. Um, but in the meantime, I want to know what precautions are y'all taking in y'all families? Have any of y'all experienced anything with anyone close to you or friendship-wise or a co-worker? Anybody that you know that's come down with this COVID-19? Um... You know, I've just been hearing so many crazy stories about people panicking. Um, you know, even crazy stories where, um, you know, like for instance, people, you know, spraying their kids down all in the face and everywhere else so their kids won't get corona. I mean, yeah, you know, some of the stuff is comical. So you got to figure out a way to laugh. Even in mid, in time of seriousness, and some of those videos was just off the chain. But 
with that being said, how are y'all handling this crisis or this uh, pandemic in your family? Are y'all staying safe? Or are y'all on self-imposed quarantine? The schools here have been shut down. Um, I don't know about the schools in y'all states. Uh, so I'm asking subs out there. Any of y'all uh, schools still open through all this? I'm, I mean, I'm hoping... That pretty much, um, because what, what another thing that a crisis like this brings out is like I know, like in my area, you know, all the suburban schools shut down right away because you know, and not just the suburban, the you know, the outline, the the residents with a little bit more disposable income. So right in the heart of the city is where. All of the poor people are. So that was the last to shut down. Being that of course. Knowing that most of these parents. Either they have to continue to go to work. They depend on the school system for. You know breakfast program. A lunch program. And maybe even an afternoon snack. In most cases. So. Um, that was going to put a hardship on an awful lot of families. So, um, this whole thing has been very disruptive. And, um, <laughs> you, you, you verse so, as we contemplate on, you know, how we're going to handle this next stage of this particular, um, crisis that we're in. I appreciate some of the articles that you send me, some of the information that you send me because it's really needed and it's really relevant. So if any of y'all that want to send me any information that you may have regarding, um, I'll do a, a video about it um, and I'll definitely, you know, give you shout outs. So because like I said, we in this together, wherever we are on the diaspora, wherever we are. We are connected. And just like something is bad going on, we're all connected. Um, so is it when something good happens. We just don't know it. You know? And I don't know if this crisis is going to allow us to see things, you know, differently. Day by day. Day by day, oh dear Lord, these things I pray, to see things more clearly, and to love more dearly, and to give more freely. Day by day. And that's how we got to take it. Day by day. Okay. With that being said. Y'all share some of y'all um, experiences with me. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.